Californians use more than 12 million barrels of oil a week. Much of it is imported. But there is something new, something used on the fuel horizon. The same vegetable oil used to make French fries and fish and chips can be recycled as motor fuel. CBS 2's Jennifer Sabi tells us how. Jen? When the tank on his truck runs low, Jules Gervais looks for a fill-up. But unlike most of us, Jules doesn't stop at the corner gas station. In fact, he passes right by all those high-priced petrols. Instead, the former math teacher heads home to his garage, where he fills her up with his home-brewed biodiesel, a homemade fuel he cooks up from old cooking oil. If you add lye and methanol to vegetable oil, this is a formula that's been developed uh, since the 1970s, that you can actually come up with a, uh, a, a, a fuel that powers your car. Jules collects used vegetable oil from his neighborhood restaurants. You know, that greasy stuff left over from French fries and donut making? We go to behind restaurants and pick up in these carboys, these five-gallon carboys, we pick up waste vegetable oil. Then we pour it. We pour the waste vegetable oil in this in the strainer right here. After that's been strained, just to get out the uh, there might be like bits of French fries. And when it's finished, just give me about three gallons. Jules fills his tank, and off he goes. He gets about the same miles to the gallon and says it's less polluting than regular diesel fuel. Stand next to the exhaust, and it certainly smells better. If it was used for making donuts, you're going to smell like like a donut shop. Greece is a renewable American resource, as long as Americans keep eating fries. Jennifer Sabi, CBS 2 News. Huh. Following for any length of time, you just pull into every in and out in town. I was going to say, hungry. we're doing That's our it. part. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go to McDonald's or somewhere. Mm -hmm. mm. I'll get on it immediately. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I don't know about uh, French fry cars, but I do know about a pretty good forecast.